Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's the thing. I was wondering today like it's possible that a person can change person can change their ways guys, you know? Like let's say like I know one used to like drink alcohol and putty and all that and whatnot. Yeah, it is possible that one can change their ways and live in their north guys, you know? So you see when you're living in your north, like it's more like you're doing all these right things that gonna make you to always progress in life, guys, right? Yeah, and when you're living on your south node, it's when you're lazy and really don't want to do anything about your life and always be visiting on friends and checking them out and yeah, updating on someone else's life, how things are going and all that. And yeah, always having alcohol and wasting time and really like just dating for the fact of like you don't want to be alone like you like in the state of codependency guys you know and yeah a whole lot of people can break out of that you know yeah i can break out of the stage of having a whole lot of friends in their life they can break out of the stage of like really having to party with people a lot i would say like normally like I used to be in that mode where like I was learning about how things were going around, what kind of people party hard and all of that and whatnot and yeah, um, one would really like really really give it their best and knowing that whatever they do, them do not have this thing of getting addicted into whatever this party is or whatever like the situation is like yeah you you don't have this addictive personality that if you really don't go out and see your friends yeah you're just gonna be heartbroken and you're not gonna be feeling well and whenever they meet you next time yeah they're gonna be like always putting you down that yeah you never showed up the other day to come and see them and all of that and yeah, like just make you feel uncomfortable with your life, guys, right? Yeah, so other people really are not addictive into these lifestyle and personalities. So like this is the reason why like some people can change because they are not septic, guys, you know? Yeah, and once you realize that, yeah, you don't have this per um, addictive personality, yeah, you focus on yourself and People would be wondering, oh, I used to drink with that guy. Oh, I used to party with that guy and all of that. Only to find out that some people don't really want to move on from whatever they are doing, whatever negative things they are doing. They don't want to move on from their south node to go into their north node. Right, guys? Right, I mean, like. When you're in your north node, like, yeah, you would do things that matter. It's like you would watch your health and, yeah, know that flour isn't really good for us. And, yeah, if you eat meat, chicken, yeah, you would really remove the skin from the chicken. And, yeah, just try and be healthy the best way you can, guys, right? Yeah, same, same as what you would want to, like, do better with your life work better and like surround yourself with people who really want to impact uh, in a good way with life and all of that guys right yeah like not always be on about how you're gonna waste your time and all of that and all that and once you have moved out from that yeah like I know people will be on about I know that person thinks that they think they're better and all of that and whatnot. But no, you haven't really thought of yourself like that, guys, right? It's just that it is possible for, for someone to really change in life and really be in their uh, North Node. North Node is very fun to be at, guys, because you know that whenever you surround yourself with a small circle, yeah, you get to focus, you get to really understand what you are on about you get to really know why you do the things you do guys right you don't get to waste time and 
when you talk about other people like unnecessarily like that like, right, right yeah i mean like it's just a waste of time talking about other people when you know that you could be working on yourself like losing weight i mean yeah it takes time to lose weight because you can lose all of the weight and then you binge on and yeah keep on binging and binging and you gain all that weight back and then yeah you have to really like put on all the efforts and then yeah really really try and do this and really stick to your eating plan guys right yeah so even with alcohol yes a person can be in that mode of hey i want to party all of that and yeah and all of that and what not yeah and when they once they get tired of that yeah they see no point on going back to that because they know that the very same young people they used to help out with homeworks and all that yeah they're gonna be on that mode so there is no point on competing with the young ones guys right and that is a fact right yes guys so we we'll always move on and never get stuck in the same situation because yeah doing the same thing over and over and over again definitely you know what it is it's the sign of madness guys right yes guys so it is why so i still keep on pushing and pushing and pushing forward guys right yeah i mean what else are we gonna do if we're not gonna be like empowering ourselves and pushing ourselves forward guys right yeah like the more you really get lazy on working on yourself the more difficult situations get right and yeah it makes you be this person who looks at other people like hey sh i wish i was like that i wish i had that and all of that where these people really worked on themselves they really work on, worked on themselves and yeah they put all that effort all that time and yeah like really it's not really wrong to tell people that like let, let's say yeah somebody wants to come check up on you and you know that like yeah you really want to focus on yourself and like, push yourself forward and all that like yeah it's not really wrong to tell somebody that like no i'm busy this time i really don't want to go out and party and drink and all of that i just want to focus on myself you know it's really not wrong to tell people like oh no not today maybe next time you know because like whatever you're gonna do like yeah being with friends and all of that and wasting time and always bullying other people or like talking about other people it's just that waste of time and there is really no reward in that guys you know yeah so i think that the more we work on ourselves and where while we do that we don't have to really expose what we are doing to somebody else because a whole lot of people, yeah, have this thing of yeah, taking one's ideas and making them their own, guys, right? Yeah, so working on yourself means that you keep all of your plans, your goals to yourself, right? And yeah, you keep on working on them and working on them and polishing them always and yeah, making sure that, yeah, you don't forget anything. Yeah, one day, yeah, always, every day, every day one day at the time yeah you definitely can get at the top and when you there at the top somebody would say hey i used to know that someone i used to drink with that someone i used to this i used to do that and whatnot yeah like that falls in the past because the past has helped us really 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 get to know ourselves better guys right because i take it like life is full of challenges and yeah every stage in life has got its own challenges right it's more like boss level guys right yeah so you know like when you have alcohol you know how to handle your problems and how to like really really jump those hurdles and get to the winning point guys right yeah and you know like when you are in this kind of challenge how you tackle that challenge for you to always win guys right yeah because i would say like every stage in life is really important and yeah like experiencing life living life and really not being scared to live yeah i would include all these challenges guys right 
so it's really not embarrassing if you uh, you were drinking before and yeah you stopped doing that and now you're doing something better and then yeah you always go and move forward guys right yes i mean like we can never say we get embarrassed about our past guys because that's what builds our personality that is what exactly is helping us move forward in a positive way guys right i mean like how are you gonna advise someone about alcohol if you have never really been there have never really tasted it at all and yeah you always want to be always right and yeah you always want to be on top and yeah i talk about everything like give advice even when advice is not being called for guys right yeah i mean like how are you gonna understand someone else's situation and really try and give them advice when you have never been there at all guys you know what i mean yeah i mean like that's why i'm saying life is like a maze and yeah a maze is a challenge for you to get to the center and yeah i really get to know who you are and what you thought about and all of that guys right yeah so it's possible that one can change their life so saying that gonna have to reiterate this a whole other time guys right yeah i mean like with a person who have lived their lives they give the best advice to the ever, guys right yeah i mean like people who are really scared to live their lives yeah they think that they cannot make mistakes at all guys you know they think they have this perfect life laid in front of them and all they have to do is walk on it like on a red carpet and all that on the planet like nah one way or the other you're gonna have to trip one way or the other you're gonna have to get up and go through it again because challenges are a part of life without challenges yeah i mean like even jesus had his own challenges in his life gets to be tested by satan a lot of times and yeah he always overcame his challenges guys you know yeah and we have to overcome all of this and life is all about challenges really really i mean like if the universe is not gonna test you or if you really feel like oh no i'm bad like this is happening to me this is happening to me and all that all these negative things no that we have to really learn from the negativity we have to really learn from our lows in our life right yes because you can't really be afraid to live you know yeah like even if you have this addictive personality yeah you're gonna have to learn to come out from that no matter how you do it yeah some people when they quit they just go cold take on the stuff and yeah they never really want to go back into doing all of those things again they don't really need a rehab guys right yeah so what if you need a rehab what if you are addicted to a certain lifestyle and a certain way of doing things yeah if it's drugs we understand that you really have to go through a rehab yeah if you can't do it cold take here right? if it's alcohol yeah you're gonna have to go through all those steps of yeah the aas the meetings and all of that and whatnot but it's best if you do things cold turkey guys you know yeah and drink a whole lot of water and yeah just be on your not nose and after you have learned from that yeah you can pass the knowledge on how you did it yourself that's right teach people from your experience and yeah you know you get to like level up in your life and post up you know yeah you know and you get to be the hbic in your life guys right yeah, you get to really prosper in your life and inspire other people. Like, people really are inspired by other people who are doing well for themselves. And yeah, really, really like, want to follow in their footsteps, guys, you know? I've got a whole lot of role models in my life. And yeah, like, I listen to them. And yeah, like, sometimes I know it's hard to follow on what they're doing. But if I really want to reach certain goal in life yeah i know that i'm gonna have to have this discipline in my life and get to it you know yeah get to it and really 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 reach my goals guys you know 
yeah, life is too precious to be wasted around. I mean, that like, we know we are so young, and yeah, while we're still young, you can get to experience all these situations, and yeah, we learn quickly that oh well, this is really not a comfortable situation. I wanna be in for the rest of my life. So yeah, I'm gonna change my ways and really not chill with these people who are always negative and they yeah, are septic in my life because all they do is all these negative things that after you do them, you're gonna be feeling bad in your heart and feel like, oh, well, you're in the wrong space and all of that. And really, really feeling bad about the stuff you do in your life and yeah, not really wanting to do things because you want them. Doing things to please other people can really cause Ill, uh, illnesses in your life, guys, you know? Yeah, they can cause you to have stress and all that and yeah, you really don't feel good about yourself and yeah, you always feel forced to do stuff and all of that but once you walk away, like that feeling can tells you that I know if you feel like that about the company you are with, the company you are around yeah, that just says to you that you, that is not your company at all because you can never want to be in that mode of feeling like you are forced to do stuff that you really don't want to do with your life guys, you know? Yes, and every day we start fresh. Every day we start fresh. Once you have this feeling of being uncomfortable around your friend, it means that you have like grown up. Yeah, it means that the path and ended there and it's time for you to walk alone. I mean like, you can walk along for until you get to know yourself better until you get to connect with people who are like you your collective and yeah life goes on until the next time again like yeah you reach that stage again and yeah people always get to be moving on with life and yeah always trying to get to the top guys you know we can't always be doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. That is clearly a sign of madness, guys, you know? Imagine this. We will have been playing with this thing since you were like this age until you are like in your 20s. Same thing every day and every day. People would say you don't want to grow up, guys, right? Yes, it's just the same as with alcohol and yeah with everything else guys you know because sometimes people would want to open up stuff they really were not prepared to open guys right it's more like a pandora's box you know yeah it's more like a can of worms guys you know yeah some people get to like quit whatever negativity they have super fast because they don't feel good in their heart and yeah that's a sign of like no I've got to navigate my ways in the right way because if I'm not feeling good about this way, yeah, you can always go like this and you know that, oh, well, you're going to feel better and yeah, you're going to do better and yeah, whatever you do, you grow from that, you know, you grow from that, you grow from that and you dodging all these illnesses in your life, guys, you know, yeah, you dodging all these illnesses in your life and yeah, you really don't get to get sick and all you get to be is happy all the time. Vitamin H. Vitamin H, guys. Vitamin H. You know? And you never get sick. You never get these stresses. Other people will be like, Eish, I've got hypertension. i got to go to this clinic and get this medication and all of that. Oh, i got to go see the doctor for my medication and all that. Like, no. That clearly is a sign of depression. Yeah, it's a whole other sign of negativity. Like, low vibing. Low things that you really don't want to be involved in guys, right? Yeah, like a positive person really never gets to be sick, guys, you know? Yeah, because you know that you get to do whatever you want every day. Not you going to do, but you get to do whatever you want. Every day you go forward, every day we start afresh, guys, you know? Yeah, we're reaching the goals we really wanted to have and yeah, we're reaching the goals that we need to be at in our life, we be in our north node, guys, right?
Yeah, so if you know that you, let's say for an example, you are a, let's say, you are a Leo and your North Node, yeah, you will be, let's say your North Node is in Leo, right? And your South Node will be in Aquarius and always want to do things behind the stage and all of that and if you're early or you know that you always want to be on stage and shine and yeah you know because they're ruled by the sun and the sun yeah it's right there right there at the top and yeah it gets to light up all the spaces around you know yeah it gets to like really really shine everywhere guys right yeah that's why we also always want to be on the spotlight and all that and a high vibing Leo is really not a jealous person because they are the kind of people who always want to help each other out and yeah, be happy for other people and all of that guys, right? Yeah, whereas a low vibing Leo, yeah, would be jealous and all of that and whatnot. And we really don't want that in our lives, guys, right? Yeah, all we gotta do is encourage each other to go do better with our lives and yeah, with our families and all of that guys, right? So, adios, I will definitely check you guys tomorrow. I forget we go out of this month with a bang and a bang, biggest bang ever, guys, right? Yeah, so I will definitely see you again next month. Definitely tomorrow. <laughs> definitely tomorrow, so see you guys later. Cheers. <laughs> I love you all.